What is today? The 15th? No, yesterday was 15th. Well, then it's the 16th. Today's the 16th. Today is May the 16th, 2020, and it is Saturday. And uh, let me, oh my goodness, when did she put that up there? Next door, put a great big ball, ball or volleyball thing in her uh, yard. Are we all just hanging out, chit chatting in the neighborhood. Okay, anyway. Hi, hello, I'm Miss Patricia, Ann, and um, we're going out today. I've got a list of things I got to get at the store, and um, we had our face mask Friday party number two last night. It was really fun. Glenn got me the bubble mask. And everybody voted for me to wear the bubble mask. First time I, first time I'd ever wore a bubble mask in my entire life. You need to go watch that live and check it out because that it was crazy. It was so crazy the bubble mask. Like it literally like started like I put it on as a sheet mask and it started bubbling up. It was like I was in a sauna. And um, I am going to actually do a full review on that and let you guys know about that. So I don't want to talk too much you about it. I felt like it was like in a spa, not a sauna, a spa. I was like, wow, is it hot? Well, it kind of, it had like a sensation. Like, let's not talk about it because I got a whole video coming up on that. But, um, we are currently going out and, um, I had a rant about the mail situation. Um, oh, I didn't even get to tell you what happened yesterday when he was working. So, you know the whole issue with our mail around here? That everybody got those letters and everybody's been talking about it. Well, yesterday, I was going downstairs to put the, you know, we had surf and turf more or less yesterday. We had shrimp and sirloin and chicken and pineapple and all kind of stuff. And um, I was putting that meat on and then I grabbed the mail because my mom always leaves the mail in the counter and I was going. Saturday, I had my newspapers. Okay, this way. And I went to um, grab my mail and I was like I have a Walmart statement I haven't used my Walmart card we paid my Walmart card off a long time ago right yeah. and well I didn't really pay it off I transferred balance to another card but anyway I paid that card off and um, I opened the mail and my heart drops it says I owe $1,900 on my Walmart card and that my bill due is a hundred and thirty some dollars I'm like, oh my gosh, somebody has stole my... What was the date on the mail? Credit card. Somebody has stole my credit card. I instantly see that amount of money and I'm like, I, this, is not, this is not true. I paid it off. I have no balance on it. I run upstairs, my phone's charging. I grab my phone, go into my little office, which is a bathroom, and um, I call the card. And it says, this card has been like, because they called the number on the, on the uh, paper and it says your card has been uh, closed. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I do? So I called Walmart and it said, and I called again and I put in, uh, instead of my card number, I put in my, um, or the account number on the paper, you know, I put my actual card number in and it said that I had a zero balance. And I'm like, what? Wait a minute. So there's the mail lady right there. That's what they're doing. She's sitting there with the mail, probably deciding which mail she's going to give people. Isn't that weird? Anyway, I instantly realized, okay, let me look at the date on this. 2017. So I calmed down. I just got a bill yesterday for a credit card payment from 2017. What is going on around here? And then we just passed the mail lady just now and she's sitting underneath the trees going through people's mail. Isn't this a federal crime? If she opens them. None of them's opened. That's what I'm saying. But like, apparently what had happened is, is there was a guy that was a sub-carrier for our mail route, this whole route, this whole area. He was a sub-carrier and that he was busted for something, I don't know. When they go into his house, they find boxes and boxes of everybody's mail from 2017. And six, er, 2016, 17, 18, 19, and now. 
and I they, and on the paper that they sent everybody it said that they're investigating it and the people behind us will be dealt with da 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 as a fair little offense da 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 that, that's where my uh I bought big bunch of stuff from wow wow wish and I never did get it I bet you anything that's where my when I first started my channel I remember that I went like I'm getting so hyped up. Remember when I bought that, or I done that uh, brand backer, and I was like, hey, I got this product coming in when you first visited, and it never came? He probably got that. Uh -huh. So what do you do? Hold on, that's my mom. All right, so we are back, and my mom called. Uh, I, babe, I don't know. Is that something about me? Oh, she wanted me to get paint. My mom called, and uh, that's for my aunt. And she said she'll pick it up because it's she wants a certain kind. And she it just she got a she got a whole page of the details that the paint has to be. Yeah, okay. yeah I don't want to do that. My, my aunt is very cautious right now with the whole everything going on. Like my mom's been doing grocery shopping for her, and my other aunt and my mom goes and gets everything. Like she'll she'll be on the phone with them and go up and down each aisle and they'll tell her what she wants and uh, my mom will get it and then my mom's got to take it and put it in put it at her front door and then once my mom drives off my aunt will go out there in gloves and spray it, everything down and then put it in her car and let it sit overnight and then bring it in so they're taking precautions so it's because they're a lot older and they have a lot of health issues but they they have not been out none since all this and uh, it's just it's scary but anyway back to our um title of this video um you probably want to hear more about that it's the um tell the vlog <laughs> um yeah the mail is all messed up around here so we got a p.o box a while back i do have p.o box if you want to send me friend mail and um, the p.o box is a safe secure place that um, i can actually get my mail so i have it down in the description my p.o box um, if you have any face mask or anything you want me to try, send to my P.O. box. And um, everybody that sends me something in my P.O. box, I'll be sending you Christmas cards and holiday cards and stuff and put you on my list. So far, nobody has sent me anything to my P.R. box except for uh, companies for P.R. reviews. And uh, I have some, I have uh, a lot happening on my channel. I am super excited to tell you that we, um, I'm actually in the making of something big on my channel and uh, I'm really excited for that like I'm, I'm happy I'm, I'm just happy do you think that that will be a good uh, we can't talk about it because it's not it's not happened yet I don't want to talk about it, but do you think that that will you know what I'm talking about but do you think that that will be a good surprise for them yeah. and hopefully you guys enjoy it and um, I'm excited so you guys stay tuned to find out what's the big uh, reveal because I'm going to go all out when we do this. I'm going to have a launch party. <laughs> I'm going to have a launch party of the reveal. I'm going to have all kinds of stuff. And uh, we're going to have, and I just, I gave you a little, a little hint, a launch party. It's a launch party of what? What do you think it is, Mr. Glenn I don't know what it is. I know you know what it is. Don't say anything. But um, I'm excited. So just know that there is things in the happening right now. And um, I have a lot of giveaways going on. I have a subscription box giveaway. I'm going to do so many unboxings. I have a lot of videos I need to be recording. Um, I just I just pulled out probably $2,000 worth of makeup. I didn't even know I had it in the closet. And um, it's a funny thing. I'm going to be recording a, a, a video on my Ipsy. Of, uh, I canceled my Ipsy, but I'm going to be recording the video of me going through all my Ipsy boxes because, uh, let me just be honest, I'm a hoarder. <laughs> and uh, every time I get my Ipsy, I would leave everything in its box. <laughs> and uh, we're going to just go and unbox all my Ipsys. And Glenn was adding it up. I'm like, I probably have 100 Ipsy bags. And he's like, that's, what, they're $12? It's almost $13 a bag. Now. So... So I got about $1,300 in empty, but that's not including the Glam Bag Plus. And those was 26, or no, there's 26, 8, 26, 83 or something like that, the piece. And I got like 10 or 12 now. So I got close to $2,000 worth of empty. <laughs> isn't, isn't that crazy? And then I canceled it 
and Glenn kept telling me, he's like, you don't have to cancel it, aren't you? I think it was wise for me to cancel Nipsey there because I've got to use some of these products up. Because when we start moving into our new house, I'm literally going to be able to fill the whole house up once we build it with just Ipsy stuff and makeup. So I've got to start going through my stuff and start using it. So um, I am taking you guys with us today and uh, we're going to go shopping and um, I'm going to take you with me in a different video. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. I am going to take you shopping with me for Bubble Mask. That's my new obsession. So, ooh, that coffee gave me heartburn today. Too bad. Look at Glenn's shirt. He's got his new shirt on that he got in his Amazon box. Have you checked it out yet? Like, have you went to Amazon uh, wardrobe? It only works if you have Amazon Prime. Oh, you have to have Amazon Prime. But I'm sure you guys, uh, if you like shopping like I do, you probably have Amazon Prime. So check it out, Amazon wardrobe. And um, oh, we need to check the PO box. We need to check the PO box again. If you want to send me something, I don't care what it is, you can just send me a handwritten letter, anything. I will shout you out. I will do friend mail. I will. I just want to interact with you guys and be able to put you on my Christmas card list. And uh, we're gonna have our PO box by Christmas, aren't we? It ends October. But if you, yeah, it, ends on it ends on Halloween. My PO box, I have to renew it. So if you guys start sending me stuff, I, he will let me keep it, right? If I get stuff sent to it, I can keep it. So, I need you guys to send me something. Like, if it's just, you want Ella to try dog treats out. <laughs> that would be, I, actually, I do love your fur babies. And uh, I would love to have a little letter from your little fur baby to my little fur baby and let Ella read it. <laughs> Does that sound corny? <laughs> um, I'm just a weird person. I love pen pals. Like, I... I used to have a lot of pen pals when I was growing up and I'd write letters and mail them out. I just had so much fun being a pen pals. So, let's be pen pals. Send me a, um, send me something to, thank you for rolling this window. This is kind of hot. Um, yeah, let's be pen pals and all my information to my PO box is down below. Um, he's going to get into the, um, post office and, um, while we're waiting on him, I am going to, um, record the other part, or the other video I'm doing today and, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm doing a vlog here, and then I'm doing an actual recording of another video of a review. So stay tuned. Last night was Face Mask Friday, number two. So every Friday is going to be numbered and what that party number is. I do uh, Instagram Live once in a while. Uh, just so happens, last night I did an Instagram Live with uh, Christine Kingston. Huge shout out to you, girl. We had a lot of fun on Face Mask Friday, party number two pregame on Instagram, and then I moved over to the party on my YouTube live where I done some giveaways and um, we had we had a lot of fun we did have a lot of fun I uh, was able to give away some pillowcases to you guys from Yanabest and uh, we had a winner on Instagram and we had a winner on uh, YouTube live and uh, I do it as fair as I can I try to be as fair as I can about it and I uh, keep everything um, numbered and everything we didn't have anything in the post office, so yeah, guys, you need to send me some something to my PO my box. Uh, we are at Long John Silver's now, and we are getting fish tacos and fish. Did my hair look like You're getting a lot of gray. When are you going to let me start dyeing your hair? Never. You're, just, you're not going to. Can I see my dad? You're not going to dye your hair? No. Why are you going to dye it for me, Shane? No. Gray hair means wisdom. I've seen things. I've seen lots of things. This is probably loud. Can you turn this down? It's probably really loud. And I'm sorry at the beginning. It's the only thing that's helping you survive. I'm sorry if the... Talk about my gray hairs. I'm, I'm getting a lot of <laughs> Yeah, you're getting a lot. It's all over the sides. Yeah. You know why, right? Why? You. Me? Yeah. You give me lots of gray hair. So let's put this in the books. Glenn is 31 years old and he is starting to get gray hair really bad. So when we're 60 and we're looking back on these videos, future Patricia, remember to tell Glenn that he got gray hair started. Girl, I've had gray hair since my 20s. Yeah, but it's getting really bad in your bangs. Mm -hmm. And um, it's getting, get up in here so they can see it. No. 
Get up here. I want you to see the front of it. There's a thing right here because this is this is my side. And that's your side. Look at this. Gray. You see it? <laughs> so future Patricia. Future Glenn. <laughs> this is how you started getting your gray hair at 31. <laughs> Future people's just sitting outside with their car window open, they can hear you. Really? <laughs> Future Glenn, remember how I annoyed you on this day of May 16th. She annoys me every day. <laughs> These things are all melted, I think. How are they? We are um, having long gun silvers. And uh, we don't really eat out a lot, but I know in the videos I post of vlogs, you have to understand when, when I do vlogs, my vlogs is when we go out. So it looks like we're eating a lot, but... We generally eat out once a week. Yeah. And I just, I'm usually behind, so I push all these vlogs out back to back. So you gotta pay attention to the dates. Your dad commented on that video. He's like, you all eat out more than anybody I know. We really don't. <laughs> do we? <laughs> I cooked last night. We had Dad, you act like you don't go out to Waterburger and Jack in the <laughs> Box and Taco Cabana and Castle Lake and get your fajitas and all that junk. I don't even start. Um, let's talk about last night's dinner. I worked really hard on last night's dinner and Glenn did not like it. She gave me shrimp that was breaded and battered and <laughs> so I'm on a call. And she brings me a plate of like five of them. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, There's a huge shrimp. Huge. She, she didn't give me lunch or anything. So I wait for a break in the call and I grab one and I bite it, right? <laughs> I'm thinking it's just the tail. Whole freaking shell was on this thing. And I about started choking on the phone because I didn't know it. There's legs and everything. <laughs> I was picking bits of shell out of my teeth that whole phone call. You have to understand, I'm in Southern Ohio. We don't have fresh seafood. They don't know how to prepare seafood. When I go to the Chinese place, they always look like that. They, 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 you remember that? When I first went to that Chinese Yeah, but you know they're there. You bred I them, did. You breaded them like butterfly shrimp. I did, I did not know when we went to the Chinese place. Because remember when we went up there, that was the best shrimp I ever had. And it had the little legs and everything on the shrimp. And I didn't know how to eat it, remember? And I was eating the shell, and I was like, I don't think it's supposed to taste like this, remember? <laughs> I was actually eating the shell, too. It's weird. And I... <laughs> the, all you Southerners out there? <laughs> Yankees. I was talking to Amby on a video last night, and after our Face Max Friday, and um, she uh, was like, you're supposed to sh de-shell them before you uh, <laughs> cook them. Yeah. Bull them. I was like, why do they sell them like that? It said they was detailed and or deveined. Not detailed. They had the tails. Yeah, deveined. They cut down the back and pulled the poop vein out. But I, I'm not. I'm not used to cooking seafood. So isn't that crazy? How there's just a car park right in front of the drive thing? Yeah, but that's parking spots. I know that's weird though. But anyway, back to I, I'm not used to cooking seafood. So, for me, I just thought I treated it like regular shrimp. And, I mean, I was pulling the shells off of it when I was eating it. But it wasn't nothing different for me. But in the future, so I... So was I. And I felt more like I was eating crawfish than shrimp. It was... Like, it was kind of... That's that's the thing I hate most about crawfish. And, yes, I don't like crawfish. I felt like it was it was kind of like a seafood boil. Because you had all kinds of different things. And you could pull it apart. Oh, I had cod. I had... Okay, in this um, pineapple bowl I made, I had cod... I had ch uh, chicken, I had sirloin steak, I had peppers, I had cheese, I had rice, I had shrimp, all in that pineapple. And it was so good. And then the and shrimp. The steak was a travesty. Why? Because it wasn't bloody. Steak is supposed to be bloody. If you don't like your steak bloody, if you like it well done, just go grab a bag of Jack Links and save the steak for everybody else. But I thought it was a pretty good meal. And then he was telling me, what else did you tell me you didn't like? You didn't like the fact the chicken had the skin I, on it. I, no, I liked the chicken. I liked the taste of it. It just sucked that the garlic parmesan flavor didn't go all the way through to the meat. Should I marinate it longer? Probably. How long did you marinate it for? Ten minutes? Four hours. You should slow cook it. 
I did. In the coffee pot. I could, couldn't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. Okay, we're going to grab our food now. So, yeah, I'm just trying different recipes, and he didn't, he didn't like last night's dinner. It was good. Last night's dinner cost us about $40. For me to cook that dinner last night, it was literally like $40. Because the bag of shrimp that I used, it cost me fourteen dollars. Uh, you want tartar sauce? I want tartar sauce and ketchup. Tartar sauce and ketchup, and do you have ranch? Mm. Long John Silver's tea is the best tea ever. She said they don't have ranch. They don't have ranch. What would they eat ranch with anyway? Chicken. Long John Silver's don't have ranch. Oh, you got? Is that from last time? Yeah. He, he has this from last time, and it's a creamy ranch, so they do have ranch. Yeah, but just tell me they do. Well, tell her. I'll ask her. No, don't worry about it. You sure? I'll say something. No, it's good. No, I'm going to say something. Uh, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. I don't want my food spit out. You're going to already get your food. Once she hands the food, I'm going to say something. Because that's a lie. Because right here's Long John Silver's. I don't like that. I'm saying something. You don't even like that ranch. So, I'm still saying something, so you can have fresh ranch. Don't worry about it. I don't have tartar sauce or something. No, I'm saying something. I'll wait till you get your food. Uh, tartar sauce, ketchup, and ranch. You sure you don't have ranch? We have a packet of ranch right here from Long John Silver's. No, we don't have ranch. You don't have okay, ranch? Just tartar sauce and ketchup. Maybe they're out. They don't have ranch, but here's a pack of ranch. Just calm down. <laughs> you got me this is why I have gray hair. <laughs> This is why I have great. She looked at me like I was crazy. You are crazy. <laughs> You're a star now, so you talk to people like you talk down to them. Really? That, apparently. Really? Yeah, apparently. Because I wanted to say we had ask her if she had Babe, ranch. Stop. Okay. Now. Drop it. I gave you tip. I just can't believe we don't have ranch. We have oh my god. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> now let's get back to the whole um last night. Apparently Glenn did not like the fact that um, I ate it, didn't I? He didn't like dinner last night. You look disappointed. You look like Ella know. with her ears behind her head. Quit stealing my food and you got your own. That's what you get. Your dad commented on a video, and he said, uh, why did you give her all your food? Who? In one of our videos, he commented that you gave me all your food or something. What video? Probably this, um, one of John Silver's last time. Remember, I ate all, ooh, can I have more of your shrimp? Yeah, yes. You still want my fries, it's only fair. Quick, get your hand on my picture. Can't take pictures with this man anyway. I ain't ate all day. It's only 11 o'clock. It's 1.22. Oh, it's 1.22. Here's yeah. Glenn's meal. Ooh, ooh, look at that shrimp. Oh. I'm driving. I'm pull over down at Walmart. Mmm, mmm. I wish I got your shrimp. Mmm. Try one of these shrimps. It will change your world. Really good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Changed your world. That's the best shrimp I've ever had in my life. Long John Silver's is killing it lately. Or maybe because we just haven't ate there. You know? Here's mine. Now she looks disappointed. I am disappointed. I wish I got yours. Mine's kind of sad. That shrimp was delicious. I've always got like little crumbs all over me. Here's one of mine. My taco. 
What are you doing? I am taking pictures for you guys so you can see it on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and you can see all my food that we eat before. You can see it on YouTube. You're missing out. If you, you follow my Instagram, you can see it after because I take pictures of the toilet. Glenn, you do not even have an Instagram. I know, but that'd be funny. You show the before, I show the after. That's disgusting. You get chocolate sundae. Quit, we're getting ready to eat. <laughs> You're disgusting. People could be eating with us right now. People eating with us are being disgusting. It's hot in here. It is hot in here. Mm. Wish there was a shady spot. There is right there. Right there. Cars all took it. Oh, yeah. That one right there where the, the tree would literally be in my truck. <laughs> We got to go to um, Walmart today and battle that. Did you wear my mask? No, remember? Oh yeah, we need to find me a cheetah print mask. Girl. It said, oh, it's gonna cost you $13 for the mask, $10 shipping and handling, it ain't gonna be there till July. It's getting horrible with ordering things. So Glenn's dad, thank you for sending us the mask that you did because we went ahead and asked one for you. You should take us to Dollar Tree parking lot because we got to go to Dollar Tree the first. Look it is. Okay, we're going. We got a big empty spot right here. Okay, we're going to go to Dollar Tree first. Because why can't find Dollar Tree? I found a Walmart. Mm. Oh, can you turn around? Because the sun's glaring this way. I noticed when I'm editing my videos, I look like a corpse that died. Oh, the sun's bad this way too. Can you just, can you just face this way? What, this way? Yeah. Or no, can you face the other way? That's the way you need to face. Yeah, sure. <laughs> We're done donuts in Walmart parking lot. <laughs> yeah, this way. You need to face this way. This is perfect. There we go. Perfect. See? Okay. I guess so. <laughs> Okay, so I have, which, what did I get? The Baja? Baja and Southwest. Baja? Okay. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Like the Baja? I love the Baja. Mmm. What does it taste like? You want to take a bite? Mm. Take a bite. It tastes like, um, it tastes like a Cajun. You would like this. I don't like salmon. Oh, here, just take it a little corner. No. Babe. Okay. I forgot. I forgot you eat your portion of fish once a month. I'm good with salmon. How do you not like salmon? How do you not like bloody steak? See? There we go. Can I have another shrimp? No, that's your last one. You eat it. They only gave me four? I don't want to take your shrimp. Go you, ahead. You eat it. Go ahead. Look at that shrimp, it's so good. It's not like you didn't order your own meal, but you know. Whatever. Can't even enjoy my own meal. This is the problem with being a boyfriend. Like, I'm over it. Um, you had to make their shrimps really good. Yeah, and that's why I ordered it. <laughs> and yet you ate half of it. <laughs> that was basically half. <laughs> you. Oh wait, I found another one. You have never ate Long John Silver shrimp to know if you liked it or not. Yeah, I have. Have you? We have Long John Silvers in Texas. Really? I just don't eat it often. I like the breading at Long John Silvers. I feel like Long John Silvers just stepped their game up. That's why I get the chicken. Is their chicken really good? I'll call it out. I like your little player bear, Mom. Can I have a hush puppy? <laughs> Didn't you get hush puppies? No. I don't want two. I just want one. Mmm. Look how fluffy their hush puppies are. Mmm. 
You really did get a good. How much was yours? Ten bucks. Just yours? Where's our receipt? I don't know. Don't give me shit. She told me we didn't have ranch. You didn't get a receipt. You have ketchup in there at least? Yeah. But I didn't use it. You want four pieces of chicken. How many pieces of chicken was you supposed to get? Three or two. And you got a ton of hush puppies. Like, I feel like you got like a family Cause pet. I, it came with hush puppies and I ordered hush puppies to close. Oh, okay. So they gave you a lot. I like coleslaw. It cost us like twenty dollars to eat this meal. Yours was like eight. Was it? Mm -hmm. I feel like it was cheaper the first time we went. Because we both just had tacos. It was like sixteen or seventeen. Mmm. Look, I got salmon. So good. The Baja fish tacos from Long John Silver's. You can get them. Mm. They're a little spicy. A little spicy. It's funny. I woke up this morning and I'm like, I opened my bathroom window and Glenn's like, it's cold outside. Today is so miserable, hot. It was chilly at first. It's so hot and it's so muggy and it's just miserable out here. Isn't it? It's not, it's not even like a hot day, it's just muggy, like it wants to take your breath. It's because it's been raining. I hate days like this, I absolutely hate them. And it makes me have a horrible hair day. Even though I've been using my Vegan Cuts Beauty Box, I do have a link down in the description if you want to sign up for Vegan Cuts. They have an awesome product from Beauty Box. I love their hair serum. And, um, staring at Sorry, I didn't mean to. I was just talking about my Beauty Box. I'm sorry, you're going to have to redo that part. Who was it? Um. I get tired of that crap. I, um. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Talking about the hair products. In your vegan box and the humidity messing up your hair. Mm. I truly do apologize. My angry side hopped out. He did good anger management. Would you be interested in taking courses? No. Do you feel like you have a temper? I feel like you don't either. I feel like Some you have, people just annoy me. I feel like you have road rage. I don't have road rage. This isn't like people that just stare at you. Like take a freaking picture to laugh at me. We are parked weird though. So we're at the very back. I mean if someone wants to park in this spot, they have issues. Mm. Ooh. That's spicy. Will I get the Baja again? I don't think so. You say you love it though. I did, but it is, it's real spicy. And we know I don't like spicy. Ooh, I'm getting so full. Let's take that on trip. <clears throat> Here is my second one. This is the southwest one. And look, you can see, ooh, you can see all this. I need to get a picture of that for you guys. I've just been gaining weight lately, but I haven't been gaining. Like I'm to the same weight, but I feel like I'm swole, like I'm swelled out. And somebody in my Instagram live was like, "You're pregnant." Not to my knowledge, I am. How am I supposed to eat this sucker? Like a taco. But it's so full. being like this when you gave me yours did you eat suck all that stuff out like, oh I'm sorry what? it went everywhere clean it up oh <laughs> no, 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 
sure. I don't like the Southwest. They're too messy. And do you remember last time I ate this? I got this all in my clothes. And I'm wearing a new shirt today, too. Use that foil. the southwest it tastes better when you eat half of it this one's messy this one's real messy is it's so hot I'm just I can't eat I'm getting full you think that's what it is yeah. uh. you're so messy I am I hate the Southwest tacos a little piggy? I'm never getting these Southwest tacos again you're Remind? not getting by home you're not getting Southwest you didn't like the season so what am I gonna get the only one left is spicy Ugh. Oh my, a salmon fell out the back. Push it up in there. Take your little fingers and push it in. Glenn, you just caved in my whole taco. <laughs> you told me to push it. Not push it in like it's... You caved the whole side. <laughs> Women. Can't never be happy. Uh, no wonder you didn't like this one. This one has onions in it. See? Mm -hmm. You ate it and didn't have no problem with it. I had a problem with it, but I'm not one for wasting money. Mm. I'm wearing half mine. I just gotta eat the salmon. I can't do all that taco. Remind me never to get that again. Southwest is over. So what do you think of the long time servers during today? Shrimp was awesome. Chicken was chewy. <clears throat> hush puppies are alright. Not big on the fries. That hush puppies you loved last time. Mm-hmm. You didn't let them this time? Yeah, car. What's wrong with it? We're basically scraping the ground. Mm. Would you get that meal again? That's the only meal I'll get. I don't eat fish. Oh, I love fish. I'm a fishy person. Oh, you know what, where that ranch came from? Where? Long John Silver is over near Grayson. Oh, yeah. The one that was attached to A&W. Yeah. But it was still long done silver branch. Yeah. They should have had ranch. She just didn't want to go get it. He gets on to me for saying things to people, but I feel like... There's no point. There's literally no point. They're either going to do it or not do it. And the only thing they can do is really mess with your food. There's no point in giving them an excuse. Yeah, I don't know. If you're going to take the risk of eating fast food, you might as well keep your dang mouth shut. And don't your point. All this stuff. You don't need me in there, do you? Yeah. You do? You're going to send me in there with your card? Oh, Wait, I'm buying all that crap? Hold on. No dog toys. Glenn! No, no dog treats. Glenn! <gasps> oh my god! Why the fuck is this guy parked in that one spot? With nothing on it. Yeah. This guy's gonna literally... That's stupid. That's gonna cause problems. Yeah, it is. Normally you'd fucking take up two spaces. The guy has two before sticking out in the middle of the road. On the back two of the by sixes. Oh. 
What do you hair roll it for? My face mask alive, I didn't have enough. A timer? You got a timer on your phone. I can't use my phone when I'm recording my phone. For I need a dollar timer. I am putting my face mask on, guys. We are still wearing face masks when we go out, so make sure you wear your face mask. And I'll see you guys when I get out of Dollar Tree. I'm not taking you guys in with me to Dollar Tree, but you will be going into Walmart with me in a separate video. But, uh... We're going in, too. I gotta clean my lens. Did you ever order those, the, that thing that goes on my lens? Because I need that. Right, no, I'm supposed to. I sent it to you to order it. So, you sent it to me? Yeah, on Facebook. Because I need that order to protect that. It protects the lens from getting scratched. Alright, well, come on. Alright, guys, I'll be back.